Hello, welcome back. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at Exolon, released in 1987 by Houston Consultants and enjoying a nice cup of Twining's Prince of Wales Black Tea. Coded by Prodigy programmer Raphael Checo, Exolon pushes the limits of the ZX Spectrum. Published by Houston Consultants in 1987 for both the 48K and 128K ZX Spectrum, the game stars the Torque of Avalon, a space-age hero fighting to free his planet from alien invaders. The arcade action of the title proved to be very popular with the game magazines of the time. Crash Magazine gave Exolon an impressive 90 score, with many positive remarks about the high quality of the graphics and use of colors. Armed with a laser blaster and missile firing backpack that would make Boba Fett jealous, the Torque marches against an army of bouncing orb-like creatures, underground pistons of death, cannons and tanks. With massive colorful explosions of bits bursting on the screen, Exolon channels the bombastic carnage of 80s action movies and arcade games. The Torque moved to the right of the screen, blasting through obstacles with some light platforming in the form of leaping onto floating platforms or over landmines. When reaching the end of the screen, the screen briefly turns black with the Torque appearing at the left side of the screen. This technique is known as flip screen graphics. An impressive aspect of Exolon is branching paths. Teleporters allow the torque to reach higher paths. The inability to walk backwards to previous screens results in players having to carefully choose which path to take in order to avoid tight corridors filled with missile tanks and never-ending waves of orb-like enemies. The game consists of 25 screens per level with a total of 5 levels or 125 screens. In true arcade fashion, the game loops with the player returning to the first screen after completing the last screen. The Torque perishes after being struck once by an enemy or enemy projectile, which greatly increases the difficulty of Exolon. Fortunately, you receive 9 lives upon starting a game. You respawn at the left of the current screen almost immediately, allowing you to quickly return to the action. Each level includes a purple pod that the Torque can step in. Pressing the key assigned to the up direction allows the Torque to receive an upgrade in the form of an exoskeleton known as Exolon. This gives Vitorque a helmet with a visor and a second blaster, which allows him to fire two simultaneous laser blasts. The second shot fires at a lower angle, removing the need to crouch and fire. The extra firepower greatly insists in storming through enemy defenses. If you choose to skip the upgrade, you receive an additional 10,000 points as a heroic bonus for your end-level score. You receive additional lives at the end of each stage, but never more than the maximum of 9 lives. I did not know what to expect when trying my first cup of Twining's Prince of Wales tea. I found it to be a surprisingly mild yet aromatic blend of black tea. The taste seems smoky to me, which I later read that Twining's describes the flavor as woody. I thoroughly enjoyed playing Exolon. This is one of the finest games to be released for the ZX Spectrum. Serving as a freelance programmer, Rafael Checo parted ways with Houston Consultants in the early 1990s, which he later described as friendly. Houston closed its doors in 1991. Rafael Checo continued to develop games for the Commodore 64 and the Amiga. In late 2005, Retrospec released an updated version of Exolon for Windows PC and Mac called Exolon DX. This game retools the controls to allow the mapping of a button for firing missiles, in addition to holding the fire button to fire a missile just like the classic game. Despite the fresh coat of paint for the visuals and updated music and sounds, Exolon DX stays true to the original game's map layout, enemy characters, and controls. In 2016, Rafael Checo teamed up with Pixel Age Studios to release an updated version of his Amiga classic title, First Samurai. Unfortunately, development stalled on the game and the team canceled their Kickstarter campaign. Houston Consultants returned in 2013 with a successful Kickstarter campaign to release a book based on the life of the founder, Andrew Houston. The company's newest release, Hyper Sentinel, is available for pre-order on PC and Mac with an upcoming release for the Nintendo Switch. If you enjoyed this video, then please like, share, comment, and subscribe to McGee TV for more great video content. 
Evan and I put out videos weekly. Please check us out at www.mcgeetv.com, on Facebook at McGee Television, on Instagram and Twitter at McGee underscore TV, and myself at McGee underscore TV on Twitch, and Evan at XXScissorXXGaming on Twitch and Twitter. Get your McGee TV shirt and mug at www.cafepress.com forward slash McGee TV. Thanks for tuning in.